Okay, I'm gonna present how to build Polish motor. Um, first, I'm gonna tell you about how, uh, what, what component I, I have used. Uh, I used uh, double. Uh, I think it's like uh, 23 mil per 10 mil um, neodymium magnets. They are inside the rubber of this wheel. There are six of them. I mean, uh, are looking a star. Um, the reason there, there are six instead of four, like in the other motor I've built, is that uh, if it would be four, it would be not enough because. Um, as you know, it works on the basics of uh, orbital um, motor, which is using um, ferrite uh, core and uh, coil uh, winded on it to close uh, the magnetic field inside the core uh, in the right moment when the magnet is coming from here to here, and then it's, it's a, uh, the coil is powered uh, to enable the magnet to leave the magnetic force of the coil. The difference between the, their engine and mine, I noticed that if I use, there is a three uh, same type of magnets on the sides, under and over the coil. Um, I noticed that if you put the magnets on the coil, um, they make um, they are in a direction that they are attracting each other. So basically, inside the coil, uh, um, the um, like uh, other magnets uh, are created when the coil is not working uh, so um, those two magnets made uh, two magnets inside the core which are uh, in, a, in the same direction so the, the fields are, uh, cr are like smashing each other and works and goes outside and inside the core so they are giving more attraction to those magnets, uh, so the motor works much better than w just with a single core and uh, attraction only by the um, by the core of the of the coil. So right now I'm gonna I'm gonna put this thing on just to make the right separate separation between the rotor and the coil. I'll uh, show you that just now. Before I was using those spacers in between uh, in here, but I tried to make some adjustments on the position of the rotor to eliminate uh, back EMF, which I will show you later. But I couldn't. I wasn't able to do that. Mm. Okay, I just need to make it tight. Here yeah, I don't have to. As as a circuit, I'm using a single transistor. Uh, I don't remember what type, but it's NPN. And uh, and a dual piece just to make uh, voltage a little bit bigger because this core uh, is uh, it's uh, just a uh, simple uh, transformer, or the ideal transformer like this one, but I I I want it on a secondary coil, so it's work. It's supposed to work on. Uh, 220 volts 
and uh, so uh, and then I'm using for powering three uh, 12 volt batteries uh, so I'm getting uh, 30 let's say 36 uh, volts from it and with a jewel teeth a little bit bigger voltage uh, the uh, read switch uh, turns through the transistor um, this uh, jewel teeth it's it's working only using the read switch straight co connected straightly to the batteries and to the coil but with this setting it works a bit faster and better uh, I think okay so this is the uh, coil is connected uh, I'm charging batteries for, for now because they are pretty weak uh, but we'll see how it works I'm just putting read switch and it's start to turn and um, I will show you the back EMF if I'm 